create your own Star Wars text crawl and see how long you were loyal to TR8R before you betray him. Hello, I'm Nikki, and after seeing the new Star Wars movie twice, the Dong has awoken inside of me. So we are bringing you the second episode of Star Wars Dong. Things you can do online now, guys. Now that we've all seen The Force Awakens, let's go back and watch some of the originals. Ah, classic. Episode 4, A New Hope. Reanimated and made completely out of ASCII code. You can even fast forward to your favorite parts. If ASCII isn't your thing, there's also Star Wars Uncut, a remake of Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope, made by fans where each fan made 15 seconds of the film, ranging from reenactment, stop motion, and even animation. Then there is the expansion of the Star Wars universe in video games. And you can take an immersive tour through the planets in Star Wars Battlefront. Man, have you ever wondered if Star Wars was real? .com, a website that discovers parts of Star Wars that happen alongside real world history. Did you know the Millennium Falcon was spotted at the Hindenburg crash? What? Chewbacca be kidding me, ATSC walkers didn't storm the beaches in World War II? And Star Wars is not real? No. Com. Comparing things to Star Wars is easy to understand, like comparing the Third Reich to the First Order, symbols proudly worn on their left arm, and a large banner flowing behind General Hux's passionate speech. If only we had Star Wars in the Classroom, a website that helps teachers integrate Star Wars into their teaching plans for a wide range of subjects. Staying awake in class and making it to lunchtime would be easy. And may the fork be with you, the Star Wars website has a section for Star Wars themed cooking recipes, like BB-8 donuts, Ahsoka muffins, and salacious crumb cakes. If you're feeling hungry, a true Jedi can feel the force flowing through. So touch up on your lightsaber skills by playing this Star Wars game on your computer where the controller is a lightsaber on your smartphone. Wield your lightsaber and deflect Stormtrooper blasts as you try to escape the First Order in this amazing first person virtual experience. Oh no, he's back, I'm sorry. If sword fighting's not your thing or if you just don't own a smartphone, you can play Star Wars Building a Galaxy with Code where you can learn basic concepts of computer programming by navigating BB-8 around Jakku. The motions you give to BB-8 to move mirror the blocks you assemble in JavaScript code. But if you are too dependent on computers, there's Star Origami, a website with tons of printable instructions to make origami shapes like Star Wars droids and ships like the Millennium Falcon, TIE Fighter, and X-Wing. And while you're listening to your music, Spotify-StarWars.com determines which Star Wars character has the most similar music tastes to you. Kylo Ren? Well, I am wearing all black, so this does make a lot of sense. To get a deeper connection with the Force, enter in your real name to get your Star Wars name. Okrin Grev, a runaway slave from the Litten Sector? My name sounds like Okra. And while we all count how many days until StarWars.com, teach yourself Oribesh, the writings found throughout the Star Wars universe. Consisting of 26 characters, you can learn how to write and decrypt messages written in Oribesh. And you and I both know how the Gungans will not be easily swayed, so you can brush up on Jar Jar's native tongue as well. Links to all Dons can be found in the description below. I'm Nikki, and as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.